Hey, this is Aaron Shaw with another edition of Coach's Corner. This is our weekly newsletter for our physio coaching clients and VIP members on some extra tips and tricks on how to get healthy and fit and learn a little bit more about the science behind it and why sometimes why we issue the exercises and give you the exercises that we normally do. In this week's newsletter, we're talking about altitude and altitude training. And I know the running joke is, as you're wearing one of these things, it is kind of feels like you're at altitude because you have the sensation that it's harder to breathe. I'm going to take this off now because I'm the only one in the clinic at the moment. But that sensation of not being able to breathe, having a hard time catching your breath, is one of the symptoms of being at altitude. I can tell you from firsthand experience, when you get altitude sickness, it is terrible. A couple years ago, I surprised my wife and took her to uh, Peru, and we landed in Cusco, Peru, which is at about 11,000 feet elevation. And as I was trying to celebrate and be all happy and joyous about being there, as I was, I had a splitting headache from being at elevation. So it really knocked me down for a couple of days, and our body has a hard time adapting to that. Some of the information here in this report is going to tell you why that happens and also some ways that you can actually learn how to uh, kind of train your body to adapt to that. So of course, if it's hiking higher elevations uh, in the Pacific Northwest or the wintertime perhaps going to Colorado to ski at elevation or Utah to ski at elevation, the last thing you want to do is take the time, get somewhere and realize that you are just suffering from the effects of elevation. So take it seriously. Uh, it's interesting information to know and I uh, hope you find some value in that. And as always, if you have any questions about training at elevation, especially if you have any trips coming up, uh, let your physio coaches know so we can help you brainstorm how to navigate that and be as, you know, as successful as possible with your trip. And if you have any other health and fitness related questions, please reach out to us. We're here for you and I look forward to seeing you soon.